Well, it's happened again. I have uh, a massive property or house that I'm staying at alone. I've been asked to look after a couple of dogs. One, Mr. Zeus, is visible right there. And this is the house they're in. So, so I'll take you on a little tour of the property and show you what I'm dealing with this week. Oh, here's some toys, by the way. I won't take those out, can't. This is outside, very uh, picturesque. Two car garage or four car or some sort of massive car hold. And that's the house. And uh, that's Senor Zeus. Say hi, buddy. Yeah, a boy. He's the strong, silent type. Hey, bud. And a little uh, children's playpen. I might sleep there tonight. I don't know. Kind of a. I have a thing with sleeping near swings. Just peeling. Some lovely deck furniture. It's where I had my morning coffee. That was my view. Zeus's playground. And here we go. All right, so upon entering, you have a lot of wood. Those of you who know me best know I like wood. So let's uh, go up, this is a little loft. I'll take, cover this one first. So you go upstairs, you got this nice little bedroom, loft, kind of cool view here. Uh, looks out, obviously, down, dining area. Wood, wood, surrounded by wood. It's a dope spot. And for those of you who saw my Suncoast uh, Hotel and Casino review in Vegas, you'll know that I like bathrooms. So this is bathroom number one. All right, so we're heading back downstairs now. So this, this is the aforementioned dining room, uh, just off the kitchen. Pretty dope. So kitchens are, are generally uh, good for all kinds of things. Uh, you can do cooking, um, various forms of cleaning, functioning water. For example, say I was, uh, I was cooking a roast or a uh, tuna casserole, um, I have ovens at my disposal, which is good because uh, I'm uh, quite, the, quite the culinary. Uh, or if, you're, uh, if you get thirsty, uh, don't fret because um, you have an entire drawer of ice. Just this cabinet makes ice. That's what that does. That's cool. So you got the ice cabinet. There's also a garbage cabinet. I just like that everything's in cabinet form. I think more things need to be in cabinet form. This is the back area. That's a hot tub. Hot tub. Haven't been in the so you go out here, and this is where you would do all your hot tubbing. Um, just nice back continuation of the property. And there's that house. I don't know what that is. And um, there's your a barbecue if you were, if you were um, inclined to steam some hams or something. You know. Now for everyone's favorite part of the tour, the pantry. It's a, it's a little bare, but uh, a nice quaint spot to keep your preserves. Hmm? All right, continuing the tour now, we enter the main room, which uh, is suitable for small parties, soirees, get-togethers, and uh, the occasional shindig. So here you are. Now you will notice how the hardwood transitions flawlessly with the flagstone. Gorgeous. Uh, following the flagstone, we come to this cabinet. Now this cabinet is special for one reason and one reason only, and that is because it contains a plethora of alcohol. And those of you who know me know that I am a borderline alcoholic. So as you can see here, you have everything that you need to uh, help yourself envision a life that doesn't so closely resemble hell. Hmm. All right, I've, I've enough of the liquor. I dwell on liquor too long. Uh, sound system. I guess there's surround sound somewhere. I haven't really examined that part yet. Hey, that's a nice window. Back to the uh, main room here, suitable for parties. Great table, by the way. I feel like I can envision a lot of uh, hummuses. Is that, is that the plural? Hum hummi? Hummus? I don't Baba ganoush and and you know maybe uh, maybe even uh, a pate or some or a strong cheese like a sharp cheddar or a brie or even a blue I mean geez it's it's a party so you know just whatever have at it uh, there's a fireplace for all your wood burning needs uh, for warmth or or uh, uh, ambiance I suppose you know you'll also notice all of the fine handcrafted detail on all of the Tuscan leather throughout the house um, which is actually quite remarkable known fact about the leather. Each piece was handcrafted and designed by a Tibetan numerologist of Appalachia at 3,000 feet elevation, uh, then shipped to Tuscany. At that point, Tuscan monks, which do exist actually, uh, carry each piece of furniture on their backs uh, to their final destination, uh, so it's very labor-intensive. 
So now we enter a uh, the main office here. Let's turn this office light on. Uh, beautiful, as you can see. Big window looking out to the backyard. Big desk for business. So then we come to the trinkets. So you actually have a genuine alligator box here. Uh, a motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. I'm sorry, that was stupid. And a plane. Whee! So this plane is actually called the Spruce Moose, and it can travel up to 40 hectares on a thimble full of corn oil. Little known fact. Um, so leaving the office now, we turn into uh, what I believe is the master bedroom, uh, mainly because it's the largest. And uh, yeah. So you have your bed for all your sleeping and adult relation needs your chairs for all your sitting and adult relation needs, ottoman for your footrest and adult relation needs, and a television for all of your uh, will and grace and uh, pornography needs. Uh, yeah, you also have this small dog. Hello. Hey, Nala. Who's a good girl? Uh, she actually owns the house. Uh, I'm merely a tenant, uh, and she's quite cutthroat, usually demanding rent three days early, which I find odd. Awesome. Oh, here you have the master bath with a jacuzzi and shower and... Toilet, and for all your polished anus needs, you have the bidet. That feels good. Also, there's a gun case in this bathroom. Um, I don't even own a gun, let alone multiple guns that would necessitate an entire case. However, I do feel like, uh, you know, it, there is a lot of space. You could probably put a lot of soaps in there, or your loofah, or uh, lever 2000, you know. See, I'm more of a dove guy myself. Um, I'm of sensitive skin and, uh, you know, no perfumes in Dove, which I like. You know, I think that's, that's good. So this is your walk-in closet. Um, terrific for linens or uh, snow pants, uh, you know, seasonal attire. Uh, uh, towels. Coming out of the closet again. I seem to make a habit of doing that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the main floor. So I'm going to take you upstairs real quick and then uh, we'll see the basement. All right, going upstairs, going upstairs, going upstairs. It's kind of another loft, other side of the, other side of the, uh, the, the place and the chalet, and you got another loft. So here you have an area to sleep a small army. You got bunk beds uh, connected with an adjoining bathroom to another room of bunk beds. Pretty cool. And this closet is less spacious than the other one, you'll notice. But I suppose if you had a child who disappointed you in many ways or uh, disgusted you, you could put him in here as punishment. I mean, that's really the only way kids will learn these days with their Pokemon Go and their Tamagotchis and God knows what else they're into. And with their Chia Pets and their, and their Hungry Hungry Hippos and all the, other, all the other stuff that just poisons their minds, you know? Kids aren't wholesome anymore. Back in my day, all we had was a Kyocera flip phone or a Crazer and a Brick Breaker and a Snake, you know? And look how I turned out. Great! I mean, sure, I'm supremely selfish, sexual deviant with uh, propensity for kleptomania and, uh, and lying, but uh, whatever, right? I'd rather that than be chasing Pikachu off of a goddamn cliff or something. I'm sorry, you'll have to forgive me, I'm, I'm drunk. Uh, this is the basement. Drunk off love. Ha! And beer, love and beer. Um, it was a combination of the two. Uh, this is a bathroom. Uh, it, uh... There we go. Figured the light out. Uh, pretty standard, you know. It's got your your standard bathroom appliances. Nice shower though. Look at the look at the stonework, the tiles. Gorgeous, gorgeous, just gorgeous. Uh, yeah, and then you have another big bedroom here. Um, see if the light turns on. Yeah, a little bit of a mess right now, but uh, perfect. So leaving that bedroom, you then go into another bedroom, uh, which I think is supposed to be a laundry room, but obviously it's been turned into a bedroom. Massive. Thing you'll notice about this bedroom is the crushed velvet duvet here. Um, you know, just gorgeous. I would love to be draped in velvet. I feel like that's very regal. I feel like if you can get by day to day draped in velvet, um, you've essentially made it. I really can't see. It's all downhill from there. I mean, yeah. so while the rest of us are wearing cotton like suckers, you could be wearing velvet. I'll drop. I'll drop the velvet thing. It's probably overdone. This is a wine cellar. Um, I don't know how to turn the light on. But it's also quite uh, spacious, goes pretty far, uh, and cold. So again, another great place to punish a child if they had disappointed you. You just lock them in there. So we continue in the basement, and uh, we get to the next room. This is actually my room for the week. This is um, it's another little room. There's like five beds in here, uh, bunk beds. 
Yes, I know what you're saying, Sky. Why wouldn't you sleep in a king size bed or the master bedroom? And my answer is simple. Uh, I'm gonna mind your fucking business, all right? If I want to sleep in a bunk bed, I'm gonna sleep in a goddamn bunk bed. All right? Maybe maybe it takes me back to childhood. Okay? Maybe it maybe it uh, reminds me of brighter days. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? I don't need the judgment. So if you could just zip it, that'd be great. Thanks. Bye. Man wants to sleep in a bunk bed. Sue me. I mean, everyone's got, everyone's got to pass their goddamn judgment. You know. You know that's the problem with opinions too. Is that everyone's got one. Even the idiots. Even the anti bunk bed people. In little known fact, 52% of anti-bunk bed people uh, are uh, likely to commit a violent crime against a kitten. And that's a fact. I don't make this up. So, I mean, if you're pro-kitten violence, maybe you'll just continue being on the anti-bunk bed, uh, you know, bandwagon. But, uh, anyway, foosball, which is fun. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. I got heated. You know, I'm just passionate about bunk beds and things. Um, this is an entertainment area. Big television. Big couch. Good for... Now, I assume these are stripper poles, um, but I think these knobs would hurt, you know, if you were to slide down that and catch that on your genitals. So, be careful. And that's basically it. I think I've covered the entire house. Um, not much else to show you. Hope you've enjoyed the tour. I had fun showing you all around. So now I'm going to spend the rest of my day uh, down in the Blue Mountain Village, uh, creeping the fuck out of the locals. You know, sitting at the bar alone. What is there to do in Blue Mountain in the summer? Does anyone know? Is anyone here? Give me a shout if you're here. I feel like I'm gonna be bored. This is another bathroom. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was loud. Yeah, final bathroom here. A little shower, just off the kitchen. It's actually kinda neat. I don't know why you shower near food. That seems odd. Yeah, just me. Anyway, yeah. Hey, well, thanks for following me around and, you know, enjoying the tour with me and listening to me banter on about bullshit. I'll see you later.